guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to retrieve the student records. So currently, if you go back to your Salesforce, you can see here, uh, if I go to the student application here, let's say the education application that I've created, let me go to that. And inside of this application, if you go under the student, you will see that there is only one record that is available. Let's show, let's go ahead and add another record. And this time, let me call it as Shiv. And our phone number is, this is the phone number. And then email address, you can say Shiv at the rate yahoo.com address he lives in texas and class he's enrolled he's enrolled in the fifth he is in mckinney high school as well and then hit the save button so now you have another student record over here so now what we're going to do is we are going to do a we're going to test via the soap uh, via this postman and we are going to retrieve all the student records it's going to be very simple to very similar to what we have done in the case of the account query so here we am going to go back and uh, choose the URL. So this is going to be the URL. I have opened up the query account method and all I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that the headers, the two header that I want to set is the soap action. And then the key here, another one would be the content type. And here the content type is going to be text slash XML. This is going to be the content type. And then in the, the method type has to be post because we are going to send this in the body. So there's going to be a body and the it's only going to take XML. And then let's just go ahead and copy this whole thing inside of this body. And now let's go ahead and uh, replace it with this session ID that we retrieved. I'm not sure if it's the same one, but just in case we are going to paste it inside of this session header so that way Salesforce know that this is the right user. And then we are going to change this query string. And this time I'm going to query, this time I'm going to query the ID comma, what are the fields of the school object? So here in order to see, I'll just go here and click on edit object. And then under the fields and relationships, I will see all the different fields and I will be using the field name instead of the field label. So I will go ahead and uh, query this address field. So I'm going to go ahead and query the address field here. Then the next one, I'm going to query the class enrolled as well. So let's just go ahead and copy this and then write it over here. And then the next field would be the phone number so let's go ahead and put that field as well and then the school if you wanted to fetch the school information i will put that in here as well from the student object okay so this is going to be the student underscore underscore c that's it so it's going to retrieve all this information from the student object and once i'm done here i'm going to hit the send button and as you can see here, this is the response that came back. It, I have two student records and both the student records got pulled up. And I can see here it returned me the ID of the school. So if let's say I wanted to see what's the name of the schools, all I have to do is I have to use the relationship field here. Instead of the underscore underscore C, I can say underscore underscore R dot name. This way it will return me the name of the school rather than the ID. So now you can see here it returned the McKinney High School and similarly for the next record also it returned me the name of the school and then the rest of the information related to the whatever you have queried. So whichever class, phone number, school information, address, etc. Now this is going to be, this is how you write a query string. We're making a post request. We are sending in the session information where we are telling Salesforce that, hey, I am a right user and I've been authenticating and this is the query. And in the response, the status came as 200 and this is what the response looks like. Now let's go ahead and save this as well. And here I'm going to say, so query student records. Okay, so this is there and I'm going to save it inside of this collection and that's it. In the next tutorial, we will see how to add new student records into Salesforce, okay, using this postman. 
So we're going to make this API call from this postman and we're going to insert a couple of student records and we will see how to do that in the next tutorial. Thank you.